Hey everybody, here I have a video for you guys that are having trouble installing the Sound Blaster drivers in Windows 95 or Windows 98 First Edition in VMware Fusion or VMware Workstation, I believe. I'm going to show you a little trick to, that allows you to install the Sound Blaster drivers in Windows 95 and Windows 98 first edition because let's say you want to be able to play MIDI files or have some use a program that requires audio so what I'm going to be doing is a, a little show you a little how to but well you want to make sure the virtual machines powered off before you fool around with the settings because you're going to need to go into the settings and you want to make sure your USB settings are also set to USB 1.1 for the USB drivers in Windows 98 first edition or Windows 95 so once that's all set then you want to go ahead and let's go into our finder and let's go to our virtual machine VMX file under the virtual machines folder I'm going to open up our little right click the where our virtual machine is labeled and go to show package contents and we're going to right click and we're going to open up text edit on the VMX file okay you're going to see where it says PCI bridge all the way up to PCI bridge 7 dot present it's going to look something like this from the screenshot I was looking at this link that I was reading on how to fix it but But this is what you want to copy and paste right here. PCI bridge zero dot present equal false. And you want to do the same for each. You're going to do the same for the. Uh, you're just going to cut, pay, like cut and paste over it actually. So um, and make sure you save the uh, the the VMX file. So let's go ahead and um, boot into the virtual machine because there's no reason for me to, uh, I'm going to just click yes. So There's no reason for me to modify it because I did it already. I'm just showing you guys on what I had to do. So we're going to go ahead and open up our system and system32 folder by going into the windows folder. So there's a so we're going to go ahead and into the drivers folder in system32. You want to make sure that the EA2 PCIM and the the, there's a little wavetable files that you're going to need to have in the both the system folder and the system 32. See, like what like this one, I say EAPCI4M and EAPCIAM. You could basically copy and paste them into the system folder, or either way, which folder that you're doing first. I ain't got to worry because I already got them in this folder. Because you're going to need to download the 4 megabyte and 8 megabyte wave table. And pop def most definitely the 2 megabyte one. You want to make sure you just copy and paste, like I've said, to either fo to both each folder. Like to whatever folder you're putting it in first and put it in. And Sound Blaster drivers, you can basically use a creative eSonic driver. I'm going to open up my device manager in Windows, and of course, it, yes, this is Windows 98 first edition. And there's also going to be a link on how to 
modify the VMX and for the virtual machine and a link to download the um, Sound Blaster drivers. And of course the Sound Blaster 128 drivers are compatible. But if you're using Windows 98 second edition in VMware, you're going to need the WDM drivers. And you could use the um, Sound Blasters Audio PCI 64V drivers as well. And it should look something like this when you download the drivers. So, uh, hope this little short video helped you guys out and, uh, let me demonstrate some MIDI files for you. Using old classic media player. find something interesting to play. So you get it, you get the point though. But it takes a little bit of figuring out here and there though, but hope you guys enjoyed that little short fix. And go ahead and give it a try, but I'll probably do another video of doing a full in depth install. So, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. And thanks for watching.